Hello guys. Um, in this video, I will be showing you how to implement a shared storage for implementation of any kind of cluster for SQL Server. So we will be implementing shared storage using the iSCSI feature. In production environment, generally we have a SAN and uh, we have uh, the plans for the shared, st shared storage. But in the lab environment, we have to create a software level storage. So first thing, I will be showing you the concept for the iSCSI uh, shared storage system. Then we will actually implement this. So initially, uh, we can see that um, uh, we have uh, on one end, we have SQL Server machines. It can be any uh, storage, cons uh, storage consuming applications or softwares, anything. On the other hand, we have the storage. So here we will be implementing shared storage for SQL Server. So the application or the system or the softwares which are consuming the shared storage will be called as initiators and uh, on the other hand there will be iSCSI targets so iSCSI target is the place where we will be actually hosting the storage and initiators will be connecting to iSCSI targets so source is um, initiators and target is destination on the target side we have to create the actual storage and uh, all the target systems and configure the initiators as well once that is completed then we will be actually connecting targets with the uh, initiators with target so let's start with the the actual implementation so for target uh, imp target implementation we will be using windows server 2016 uh, first thing we have to make sure that all the systems they are uh, on the same domain then after that we have to enable one feature which is uh, uh, required for creating the iSCSI targets in the server and roles we have to enable a server role file storage and inside that we have to enable iSCSI target servers once this uh, feature uh, once this role is enabled then we will be able to actually implement the iSCSI targets okay so installation is completed now we can just go to the file system now we have to create some disks and uh, we have to have some disks to create iSCSI storage so for that we will just add some storage to this machine like for example we can add just like uh, 50 GB to this virtual machine just like a local desk once that is completed it should appear in the active directory as of now I'm using the active directory as storage server because this is just a virtual environment sorry we have to open this disk management so here we have the 50 GB storage available so in the target server where we have to actually enable the uh, in iSCSI targets we have to have a local storage or send storage uh, enabled in the server itself now you will just create the disk for SQL Server I'm sorry uh, for the iSCSI target this is just uh, a plain installation and just uh, initialization for the disk once that is completed then we will be able to actually have the disk shown inside this iSCSI services so I'll just refresh once this is completed it will show us the disks and volumes available so 
so here we have the volume available we will just create one disk for SQL Server SQL installation like 20 GB and as this is a new installation so we will create a new target server so this 20 GB will be mapped to a target machine uh, a target iSCSI target we'll just create target name SQL target then obviously we have to have some initial uh, initiators so that they can actually connect so we have the IP for that initiators I will just use one initial node for that this should be available now we will not use any authentications and we will just create this uh, target and disks so now we have to go to uh, the next step is to go to the initiators so that we can connect initiators to the targets so as of now uh, the target status is not connected and uh, there are no iSCSI initiators which are connected to this target so we have to know that uh, the IP for this uh, machine so that we can place uh, enter this IP in the initiators so I initiators will connect to this machine 192.168.255.10 this machine is a plain installation and it is already connected to domain now we will just open the main server manager in, in server manager we have already an option for iSCSI initiators in iSCSI initiators we will enter the IP for the storage system in this case it is the IP for the domain controller which is hosting the target now this is connected the login is successful okay okay now we have to go to system so that we can see that if this is connected or not ideally it should be connected and all these storage in fact there is only one disk available here it should appear on the initiator disk management so this will just refresh and it will show actually that uh, this target system iSCSI target is connected now okay now this is connected and in the iSCSI initiators we will just open up the disk management and ideally it should be available okay so now this disk is available to this machine the second thing we can do is to uh, present this disk to another machine as well because to have one cluster we have to have more than one nodes and uh, for this disk should be presented to more than one nodes as well so we will just verify if there is any storage available on this machine ideally there should be only C drive now we will just verify if we can quickly add this machine to domain controller change the name of this machine plus we will add this machine to domain ok 
okay and I will just restart this machine and once this is completed I will join this machine to initiate it as well okay so machine is rebooted Ideally this machine should be available on domains so we will just verify that as well. The name of the machine is SQL node 2. Yeah, this is machine is available. So we will just add this as an initiator in the target. So here is our target. We will just add another machine. Before adding, we will just show you that uh, as of now there is no cluster disks, in fact the shared disks available to this machine once we So once we connect this to the initiator, initiator to the target, there will be storage available on this machine as well. This is pretty much simple and uh, these are some of the basic steps we have to do so that we can have shared clustered storage and um, then we will be implementing clusters over the storage. So there is no disk available here. We will just uh, start the initiator, iSCSI initiator. Meanwhile we will add the node to target press ok it should be available ok now in the iSCSI initiator we will enter the IP for the storage and it should be ok yeah we can see that once we have connected the iSCSI initiator to target the storage appears here so that's the basic implementation for uh, shared storage using iSCSI. There are many implementation for uh, implementing the many implementation for shared storage disks. iSCSI is one of the classical options. Now we have presented one disk to this uh, both uh, uh, both initiators. If we add another disk to this same initiator, it will automatically appear here. So now we can just add another disk to same initiator. Like for example, we will just add another like uh, SQL data disk. For example, make it 10 GB. Use the same target which is uh, available already there and create it. Once this is created, ideally it should appear here as well and on the other machine as well. So here we can add the much more disks and uh, complete the process for all the installation, basic infrastructure and it will be available. That would be all. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye-bye.